This is the third in our video series about the upcoming drilling in Crunchy Hill. And this one focuses on how we've developed and how we're visualizing the target we're planning to drill there. The premise that we have for the formation of the particular kind of gold silver deposit that we're targeting at Crunchy Hill is that the gold and silver was carried in a hot fluid that rose off a of magma at depth. And including carrying the gold and silver, that fluid also carried the pathfinder elements that because they are more volatile than the gold and silver, they tend to rise higher in the Earth's crust and spread out more laterally. So they create a bigger target for us to explore for rather than the specific gold silver core of that system. We have the enrichment of the volatile elements, the arsenic, mercury, and timony, for example, found in soil samples in a particular area of Crunchy Hill. And in addition to that, sort of corroborating that model is the fact that we have silver in those soils with the volatile elements. And that's good to see because silver and gold are, are typically carried in the, in the same fluid. We believe that we found the very top of the system, the sort of cap of a mushroom, if you like. And what we're actually looking for is the stem of the mushroom where ex we expect the gold and silver to be located. So we've got to take our best guess at what's under Crunchy Hill. And the way that we've done that is by mapping the geological characteristics of the area, the sides of Crunchy Hill and, and the area around about, and then taking those geological characteristics through underneath Crunchy Hill. So we end up with these vertical geological slices or cross sections. On this particular one, you can see the various geological layers that we've carried from the one side of the hill to the other. On this particular section, you see the little beads at the surface of the geological slice. And those are the values of silver in the soil samples and the warm colors are higher silver content. So you see that there's an area of enrichment of silver and we believe that that is where a steeply inclined vein system comes through. It actually cuts this granite or granitic rock that is cutting the stratigraphy. And so our target there is that vein system where it cuts the granite. So we're going to step back and incline our first borehole at an angle of about 50 degrees from the horizontal down to cut that vein at depth, more or less where it is, is in the granite. We've drawn enough of these uh, vertical geological slices or, or fences that enables us to develop a three-dimensional model for the whole of Crunchy Hill. And that just helps us to visualize where the target is, the shape of the target, and it helps us to ensure that our boreholes are located, they're sited in the right place and angled in the right way to, to intersect that, that target in the best possible place. One of the gifts that we have from Crunchy Hill is its location. It's located within about one and a half kilometers of an asphalt road. It's a couple of hundred meters off, uh, yeah, albeit a uh, defunct dirt road, but that still gives us superb access. And it's also in an area of uh, farmland, of pasture. And although there's some jungle around and some of the holes are going to be drilled in jungle, we're not out in the, in the middle of the, the jungle. We're very close to civilization, which will enable us to iron out the inevitable wrinkles that we're going to have in this drill program, which is the first mineral exploration drilling ever to have been done in this part of southeastern Ecuador. <laughs>